Hello everyone and welcome to another Router Gods video. My name is Humphrey Chung. In this video I'm going to show you how to hook together a Cisco IOS V device with an Arista V EOS device. In previous videos I showed you how to run both of these kind of by themselves. And so now we're going to hook them together and see what we can do, see if we can get a connection and get a ping across. Just because it's more exciting to play with devices when they're hooked together. What you're looking at here is a Visio diagram and the Cisco device is on the left, Arista is on the right. And this link right here, I've divided into two parts, information at the top and information at the bottom. What you see on the bottom, this is how it's going to look on the VMware side when you set up the network adapters. So on the Cisco side, you're going to do network adapter one. That's going to be LAN segment one. On the Arista virtual machine, it's going to be network adapter two. And the reason it's network adapter two is Number one is for the management interface, so network adapter two is going to connect to LAN segment one. So since they're on the same LAN segment, they should be able to talk. Now the information on the top of the line here on, is going to be how it's going to look once you terminal into the device. So how the virtual device sees it inside. So on the Cisco side, it's going to be gig zero zero. On the Rista side, it's going to be Ethernet one. So let's take a look at the iOS V setup. I already have everything up and running. I've terminaled into it. Just quickly reviewing, if you right click and go to settings, this is how it's going to look. I've got my network adapters, everything set on LAN segment one just because I was lazy. And I've got the familiar serial port set to the pipe COM1. And I've already started it up. And my terminal window is here in Super Putty and we're ready to go. All right, after we set up the Cisco switch, Cisco router, what we're going to do is we're going to find our Arista images that we downloaded, the .iso and the VMDK file. What I've done is I've renamed my VMDK file to dash golden, and I've saved it off somewhere safe. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take both of these files, I'm going to copy them into a folder, Arista1, and I've already done it here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to run the virtual image off of this folder. That way I don't touch my source files, and uh, which really shouldn't matter because I've saved it off to uh, a SAN or a NAS device somewhere. But, you know, just in case, you always want to make sure you're running off of a copy of the images you downloaded because you don't want to download the 400 meg file again. So with that being said, we go back to VMware. We're going to make a new virtual machine. And this is going to be review from a previous video, Workstation 10, install operating system later, make sure it's Fedora 64-bit, we're going to call it Arista 1. One processor, one gig is fine, we're going to use host only networking, that's going to change later. We're going to be a little bit more specific, keep the SCSI controller normal, and we're going to pick IDE. We have the VMDK image, so use an existing virtual disk. We're going to browse to the existing virtual disk, Aristosaurus, there we go, VMDK. Click Next, we're going to keep the existing format, and then we're going to customize hardware. Memory is fine, processor is fine. For the CD-ROM, we've got the boot image, that's going to be the .iso there. And of course, remember to click on Advanced, and under ID, you're going to change this to IDE01. Click OK, Network Adapter is going to be host only, that's fine. That's your management interface, so no big deal there. And then we're going to click Add Network Adapter. This is actually going to be Network Adapter 2. And this is going to connect to a VM. It's actually going to connect to a LAN segment. So we're going to pick Host Only for now. Click Finish. And now when we click back to this network adapter 2, you might want to have to expand out that just to make sure you're clicking on the right one. Network adapter 2, click down here to LAN segment and LAN segment 1. And uncheck all the extra stuff, the USB, the sound card, and the printer. Don't really need that. And you're off and running. Click close and finish. Power up your Arista switch. And let's get this show on the road. All right, CD-ROM is incorrect. Let's go back to settings. Let's go to hard drive and advanced. Oh, look, look at that. Our hard drive is ID10. We're going to put the hard drive on 00. 
and the CD-ROM at 0, 1. So that should be good. And now we click play and everything should work out just fine. Okay, our Arista switch is up. We're going to log in with admin, enable Kofti, change the host name to switch1, show in status. We should see management interface and E1. So there it is, E1. We're going to go into E1 and give the IP address 1112 and then we'll see if we can ping the other side. Look at that, it tells us that we are a switch port, it's not a routed port, so we just do, just like in Cisco, no switch port. And now we should be good. Now I'm going to ping over to all ones, and we have a successful ping. So there you go, you just have to make sure that inside of VMware you have everything set to the same LAN segment. If you don't want to use LAN segments, the VM nets are just fine, you could use those too, you have to make sure everyone's on the same VM net as far as the segment is concerned. And then the only other hitch really is on the Arista side. Just make sure you start with Network Adapter 2 because Network Adapter 1 is the management interface. So you're connecting Network Adapter 1 to Network Adapter 2. Really easy lab. You could play around with stuff. Notice though, uh, one thing before I leave here is on the Cisco side, it shows up as a gig interface. On the Arista side, it's going to show up as a 10 gig interface. Uh, basically, in Arista, everything, most everything is 10 gigs. Uh, they, they only have one switch, I believe, that's uh, gigabit Ethernet interfaces. Everything else is 10 gigs. So don't worry, in the type here, it's going to say speed 10 gigs, but really on the virtual side, it, it doesn't matter. It recognizes the other, the other side. All right, so that was this. That was it for this video. This is Cisco iOS V connecting to Arista V EOS. Pretty easy, very easy lab. In a future video, I'm going to show you how to connect up four Arista switches with three routers. Get yourself a lab that will run you through CCNP switch and also CCIE. Thanks for watching.